Good morning and welcome back to a reading vlog. I thought for this vlog I'd focus a little bit more on what I'm reading and I'm actually going to try to finish some books because it's nearing the end of March and I haven't finished a single book yet this month which is a surprise for me this year because my reading mood was going strong and now it's not so strong anymore, but that's okay. First of all, the book that I'm listening to is Babel by R.F. Kang, which is really, really great so far. It's like a kind of inspired by real world, like by your real world, uh, but it takes place at Oxford University. Um, there's some fantasy elements in there and it's mostly about translating and it's really interesting. I've never read anything like it before and it's pretty good. Like it's not amazing, but after I, Kind of reached the halfway point it got really exciting again so i'm about 65 percent of the way through this book and then i'm about 70 percent of the way through the love hypothesis which i've also been reading for weeks now <laughs> um i'm reading this on my kindle it's quite big so i'm gonna take it with me on my kindle just you know pop it in my um coat jacket and i can just whip it out and start reading on the train this is a really fun romance novel about two scientists and it's about fake dating and it's quite cute romance is not my biggest like genre that i tend to read a lot but i'm enjoying it so this is the book that i'll be bringing with me today because in oh my god my fringe i need to wash my hair <laughs> It's not fringing today. In about an hour and 15 minutes, I am going to Delft, which is where I sell my products in two stores today. Because right now I'm only selling them in the Swan Market store, which I will also be working today. Um, but now I'm also going to sell my products at the Drome Concept store in Delft. So I've got a very big grocery bag full of products and I'm going to go there a little bit earlier today to stock my products in this store and I am very excited so I will take you along with me and yeah and show you the new store um, I'm super excited so if you are from Delft or you live near Delft definitely take a look at the Swan Market store or Drome concept store to find my products in real life so I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. Right now I'm just going to listen to Babel and clean up a little bit around the house. But I think I'm also going to try to wash just my fringe. So let's hope I'm not going to ruin my makeup. <laughs> because I, uh, yeah. It's not working. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay, change of plans. There are literally no trains going between Rotterdam and Delft where I need to go. And they think it, you know, the whole cancellations will maybe end around 12-ish. And I also need to work in this one market store from 12. And I, I plan on going to the concept store at 11. So I don't know how this day is gonna go. I am just gonna wait a little bit and just see if I can get to the Swan Market store at 12 and maybe throughout the day just deliver my stuff to the Drome concept store. But yeah, this is not how I planned my day to go. I'm just gonna do some more work from home then now because I cannot go to Delft any earlier. Okay, I'm gonna do some more work from here. I think the trains are almost going like normal again. So I'm definitely gonna make the 12 o'clock um, at the Swan Market store. So I will just go to the drone store a bit later. But I just got a package in the mail with new bookmarks. I'm excited, I hope they turn out nicely. <laughs> they are flowers! I'm very happy with how these turned out. Do you like the, the cute? like groovy flower bookmarks and they make me very happy. I showed you these illustrations in my last vlog and oh, on the back as well. Lovely. 
Oh, I'm very happy with these. Yay! And I also have some new exclusive bookmarks for my Patreon page. And they say, shut up, I'm reading. <laughs> oh my God, these are very fun. And on the back as well, it looks like a kind of a sun shining. Shut up, I'm reading. I literally reread this a thousand times. Shut up, I'm reading. <laughs> so these are gonna be exclusive bookmarks for my Patreon for the month of April, because every three months I release a new exclusive bookmark. So this is gonna be the one for April. And now that I see this, I want to see if I like round these corners, how extra cute it will look. And now I kind of want to round all the corners. Oh, it looks so cute, but it's literally, I don't know if I can do it with all the bookmarks because I got one of these cute little corner cutters. Maybe I'm gonna give people the option to have like round corners. I don't know, but that's so cute. Okay, maybe I will. Um, yeah, this looks super cute. I'm gonna take these with me to the store in Delft and of course to the store in um, the new concept store. So if you live close to Delft, you can already get these in store and also very soon in Rotterdam and in The Hague, all Swan Market stores. But I'm very excited about these new bookmarks. I think these may be one of my favorites because I love this illustration. layers are too short to do these little pigtails. I also, like, I literally don't know what to do with my hair. <laughs> I thought we'd put these cute ribbons in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if I like this, but oh well. Um, it is Wednesday today. I finally have some reading updates after like two or three vlogs talking about the same books because I have finally finished The Law of Hypotheses, which was very fun. The only thing is, is that I was reading it on my Kindle and it said I was like at 85%. So I fully thought I still had like at least 10 more percent to read. And suddenly there was already an epilogue and suddenly there was like this sentence and I was just like, oh, and then I clicked the next page and it was over. So I did not expect to end like that for the book to end so quickly. So that was a bit of a surprise, but I enjoyed it. It it's just not really my favorite book. I'm just not the, really the biggest romance reader, but it was definitely one of my favorite romances that I've ever read because I really like the whole um, science <laughs> aspect of it and like with this, the university and stuff. So it was fun. I'm gonna give it three out of five stars. I am also 75% of the way through Babel and it is getting so freaking good. So enjoying that one lots. But I also decided to start reading a new book, namely, Someone Will Love You or Someone Who Will Love You in All Your Damaged Glory, written by Raphael Bob Wuxberg, I think he's the creator of Bojack Horseman. I have never watched Bojack Horseman. It's not really my type of show, even though I think if I 
kind of fully into it. I will enjoy it a lot, but I started it and I just wasn't really feeling it. So I'm just I did, like I gave it up, but I don't know how I know about this book. It was recommended to me maybe, or I saw it around on TikTok or anywhere. I don't know, but this is a fictional collection of short stories that also sometimes are a bit sci-fi. A lot about love, I believe, <laughs> but I honestly don't really know. On the back, there are some very fun little quotes. It says, wonderfully weird, and then capitalized, extremely my shit. Complex, daring, emotional, and unique. Very moving and true to today's society. I'm so proud of my little Rafi. So it's full of really short stories that are sometimes a little bit weird, apparently very beautiful as well. I've literally only read half of the first full uh, short story yesterday before I went to bed, but I'm excited to read this. Let me know in the comments if you have read this book because I haven't really seen it around that much online and I do love myself some fun short stories. As you saw yesterday, I watched Twilight Breaking Dawn part one. My boyfriend and I have decided to watch all of the Twilight films because we'd never seen them before and we are binging them. We started out with the first one on Saturday, then the next one on Sunday, the third one on Monday and yesterday, the fourth one on Tuesday and tonight we're gonna watch the fifth and final Twilight film. I'm kind of into it and it is so funny because it's so bad and so cringe, but also so enjoyable. So yeah, it's very fun to watch Twilight as a 20 year old adult for the first time without having read any of the books. I'd seen almost zero spoilers, so I was completely surprised by everything. And I kept sending one of my best friends, Michelle, voice notes because she was like a Twilight fan when she was younger. And I kept sending her like, this one like just these funny moments so it's very enjoyable and i cannot wait to watch the final film tonight but right now it is 1 30 pm i'm going to this is really bothering me um i'm going to pack some shop orders and probably start editing this vlog and just do some little bits here and there work wise because i have done quite a bit already this morning which is really nice so let's go and pack some shop orders much later it's nearly 5 p.m i've just been cutting some stickers as you can see i also packed all of the orders and i got an order in the mail from some korean skincare it's not sponsored but i absolutely love koskika that's korean skincare in short <laughs> we dutchies like to use lots of abbreviations and it's getting super annoying but also very funny so what i got is two new sunscreens. I've already tried this one before and it's completely empty right now. And now I'm also gonna try this one, the Misha Aqua Sun SPF 50 Plus. I'm very excited because use your sunscreen. This one is also really good. My boyfriend uses this one and sometimes I steal it from him. Um, yay, lots of nice sunscreen so I can protect my skin. Okay, I'm just gonna continue cutting some of these stickers and then I'm gonna call it a day. And I've done quite a bit. This is the current status of <laughs> cutting all of these stickers. Um, but I've just been watching some YouTube videos at the same time and it is wonderful. Good morning, happy Thursday. Yesterday was so lovely. I did lots of work, had good food at night, and then we watched the final Twilight film. It was a ride. I am telling you, first of all, the CGI baby, I was already shook, but apparently the CGI was even worse in like previous versions and oh my God, it was so funny. But I'm telling you that at the end with the whole like compilation and the music, I shed a little tear. <laughs> this was definitely a ride. Highly recommend watching Twilight for the first time if you haven't watched it already and just binging all the films. We watched all five films in five days and it was great. So that was an incredibly fun experience these past few days. But right now I am going to do some work. In the afternoon I'm working in the Swan Market store in Delft. So I'm just going to be doing some little 
like tasks there and create some sticker sets and stuff I think and tonight I don't really have any plans so I think I'm just going to try to relax read a bit more I haven't read any more from someone who will love you and all your damaged glory but I will be taking this one with me to Delft today I have listened to quite a bit more from Babel let me see I am currently 82% of the way through this book it's really good so I'm enjoying this one lots I'm listening to this on bookbeat by the way it's one of my favorite audiobook apps I do have an affiliate link if you want to try it out this one is for all the Netherlands only but it's really good they have so many amazing books on there you get like a certain amount of hours every month that you can listen to audiobooks but if you're not liking the audiobook that you're listening to you could just choose a new one and you don't lose a credit or something you can just you, you just have a certain amount of hours left um this is not sponsored it's just an affiliate link so if you want to try out bookbeat click the link in my description but yeah i am loving this audiobook and just the book itself so i'm positive that i will finish this one within a few days and honestly just finishing a book after reading a few books for like three weeks feels really good so my reading mood is getting better so i'm excited to continue reading this one on the train today um yeah a little update and i'll see you soon Friday. I am kind of doing these little braids, plaits. It's giving Little House on the Prairie, especially with this top, but I'm liking it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to give you some final reading updates because I have nearly finished Babel. I am about 88% of the way through, but even like the last 12% is still a couple of hours because this book is massive and the audiobook is so long. And I've also read nearly half of this book. I'm enjoying this one lots. Some of the short stories I definitely like a bit more than the others. But as of right now, my favorite one is a super short one called Misconnection M4W. It's literally like four or five pages long, but it was just so good. I like um, so I'm enjoying this one a lot. Like I definitely recommend this one already. And it's just quite bizarre and funny and also feels really relevant even though it's written as like science fiction. So some things are uh, not real, <laughs> but I'm enjoying this one so, so much. So it is nearly the weekend. Th this morning, someone had to come over to fix something with our electricity and gas in this building. And he was supposed to be here like last week already, but then he didn't show up and I was like home the entire day. Maybe you've seen that in my previous vlog, but today he was supposed to be here between eight and 10 and he got here at 8.15. So I'm super happy with that. So I didn't wake up early for nothing and he fixed everything and it's all good. And I already did so much in the morning. So super productive. I'm really excited for this weekend, but I am going to end this vlog here so you can still see it before the weekend starts. And I just really hope that you like this video. If you do, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment one of these pink bow emojis because I've been wearing these like picked heels and I should maybe put some of these little bows in here again because <laughs> I'm quite liking it. So comment a pink bow. Thank you again so much for watching and yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video.